Hello and welcome back to Redirecting. Thanks again for joining us. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the legendary Henrietta Lacks. Right now, there is a portrait of her that has been painted. And the Smithsonian released this portrait. But there's a problem. A lot of people are concerned that uh, the image makes her look more like a white woman than anything. Now, for those of you who don't know who Henrietta Lacks is, she is a so-called black woman who died back in the 1950s. And her body has done some amazing things, or should I say her cells, okay? It says, doctors took and saved several tissue samples from her cervix without her permission or her knowledge, okay? And from these cells came the world's first immortal cell line. Her cells have been used to develop everything from the cloning of the polio vaccine. Uh, they've been used to develop cancer drugs, drugs to treat HIV, herpes, Parkinson's disease, and hundreds of other um, drugs as well. Uh, scientists have grown more than 20 tons of her cells and they're also involved in more than 11,000 patents. So I find that quite amazing that they've been able to do this. And right now, if you know what Henrietta Lacks really looks like, she's a so-called black woman. Now, though she may have been uh, light-skinned, um, it's very clear that she was a black woman. But the, the images being portrayed of her looks more like a white woman. And so there are some concerns about that. Um, there's even a petition going around where they want something to be done about that because we've experienced the whitewashing of history on so many levels. Uh, those of you who know about King Tut, the boy king, uh, he was an Egyptian king. And basically what they did with him, they cr made a recreation of him as well. And the recreation they made was a depiction of a white boy king. Okay, but in life, King Tut was a black boy king. Uh, the images on the, on the walls of Egypt depict him as such. Um, there is a chair with him um, and another person, and he's depicted as a so-called black or a chocolate or brown male. Um, even the bust of King Tut shows him very clearly as black. But when they did their recreations, when they did the recreations, they showed him as white. And so when you look up images of King Tut now, most of the time you'll see these whitewashed images. And so many are afraid or concerned that that's what's going to happen with um, Henrietta Lacks as well. Also, Queen Ty, she's another one. When you look up Queen Ty, uh, she's very clearly a black, dark Egyptian woman that had a huge Afro-like headdress, okay? But very clearly black, no doubt about it. But when they did their recreation of Queen Ty, uh, they came up with something totally different. They came up with a white washed image. Okay? And so these are the problems that we have with modern society, how they are always trying to change the images of history to reflect something that is quite different than what they were shown as in reality. And so with Henrietta Lacks, we see the same thing happening again, where they are um, essentially trying to um, whitewash her as well. We need to be very wise as to what they have done in modern times to whitewash history. There's always this whitewashing of history to make you believe that someone was white when in all actuality they were black. One interesting thing to note is that Queen Ty is or was the grandmother of King Tut. And so how are they getting this, this whitewashed image of him, this whitewashed bust? Where is that coming from when you see what his grandmother looks like? Very sad indeed that we have to deal with this type of thing, but um, that's how they are. They whitewash history. 
um, and they want to feed you a lie. They want to feed you a lie. So I just wanted to bring this story out to those of you who are not aware of it. But the whitewashing of history is nothing new. Uh, much of history has been whitewashed and uh, we are put forth like we're some type of chance happening. Like we just came out of nowhere and everything in history was white. So um, just wanted to share this with you family. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I will say shalom. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel. And also comment, share, like, and subscribe.